If you guys have been watching any of my most recent videos, you may have noticed that I've been using a large mouse cursor instead of my normal Mac mouse cursor. And anyway, this video is going to show you guys how to insert that large mouse cursor into your videos like I've been doing for the past few ones. And anyway, this video is a response to a comment that I got on my last video that says, with which software are you using to record your screen and how did you do that mouse-like cartoon thing? And so anyway, in this video, I'm going to be answering this question. So first of all, I record my screen using a software called ScreenFlow and anyway the rest of this video is going to be to show you guys how I use ScreenFlow to input that large mouse cursor into my videos so let's go ahead and get started Okay guys, so anyway, before we go ahead and do this, you're going to need a few things. First, you're going to need the software called ScreenFlow, which is the screen recorder that I use for my videos. It's only available on the Mac platform though, so sorry if you guys are on Windows, it's only available for Mac. I'm pretty sure you can find other ways to do this on Windows. So anyway, the first thing you're going to need is ScreenFlow. You're also going to need an image of a large mouse pointer, and you're also going to need an image editor, such as Adobe Photoshop, or GIMP, or paint.net or anything that you can use to erase background images and make the backgrounds transparent. So I'll provide all the links to the big mouse pointer in the video description. So anyway, so the first thing you're going to need to do, like I said, is we're going to go ahead and we're going to need to go ahead and find an image of a big mouse pointer. So to do this, I just went to Google and I went up to images up there. Now, excuse me if my internet's a little slow today. And I just typed in big mouse pointer, but uh, spelled that wrong and then I went down and found this mouse pointer right here which you can go ahead and find at this link right here which I'll provide in the description. So all you need to do is go ahead and save the image and then the image is right here on my desktop right here. So if we go ahead and launch up the image as you notice here's my big mouse pointer but as you notice it has a white background in it. Now to make it transparent like the image that I've been using for my videos we're going to want to go ahead and edit and edit that big mouse pointer's image with an image editor. So I'm going to go ahead and edit it with Adobe Photoshop version CS4 but you can go ahead and use Use any other image editor that you do that you have that will let you go ahead and edit the images. So now here in Adobe Photoshop, we're going to go over here, and I'm going to go ahead and choose the Magic Eraser tool, and I'm just going to go ahead and erase the background. Now one little thing in Adobe Photoshop will erase the background, so all you need to do is just click into the background with the Magic Eraser tool, and then go to File, and then Save As, and I'm just going to go ahead and save it as as Big Mouse Pointer to my desktop. And make sure you save it as a PNG, because if you save it as a JPEG image or a JPG, it will keep the background image. So if we save it as a PNG, it will have a transparent background to it. So now we can go ahead and close out of Adobe Photoshop, and here we have our Big Mouse Pointer right here. And if we open it up, as you notice, the background does no longer have an image or it is no longer, the background does no longer have a background, it's just transparent. Now you guys can go ahead and edit the image any anymore if you want to, to go ahead and take out the uh, rest of the background to kind of clean up the image if you want to, but I'm just running through this video pretty quickly. So next thing we want to do is open up a project that you've been doing here in ScreenFlow, and then I want to go over here to the More Media tab, and I'm going to go to Add Media. And then I'm going to go ahead and insert the big mouse pointer PNG, and then what I do is I normally just drag it into the timeline, and then I take the mouse pointer and, I'm, and I uh, extend it to the length of my videos so that it's uh, completely overlaying my videos. And at the beginning what I do is I go over here into the video actions tab and I make sure that it has a zero or loadout of opacity. And then when we go ahead and, uh, let me just go ahead and turn down the volume in this. So we go ahead and click on play, as you notice uh, nothing's really happening. But as you notice, you see my mouse pointer around in the screen. Like uh, right around there, you see my mouse pointer. So uh, anyway, um, we want to go ahead and get rid of the mouse pointer for this. So we want to go ahead and click on the screen recording tab. And we want to go over here to screen recording options. And then we want to go ahead and untick show mouse pointer. Then what we can do is we can go ahead and go back to the video actions tab and play through the video. And as you notice up here, I clicked on the... Uh, clicked on the Apple menu up there. So right around here, I'm going to go ahead and add a video action to my video to go ahead and zoom in on the Apple menu up there. And I'm also going to add the same video action in the same spot with the big mouse pointer. Oh, sorry. Let me just go ahead back there. So I'm going to go ahead and add another video action with the big mouse pointer. And I'm going to go ahead and raise up the opacity. And I'm going to go ahead and move it to uh, the Apple menu. Just let me go ahead and change the size. So it's around the Apple menu. 
And then as I scroll down to about this Mac, I go ahead and add in another video action. Then I raise it up a little bit and it'll click on about this Mac right there. Then I just go ahead and I add in a panning action to the uh, thing right there. And then I go ahead and I add a video action, move it to around the center and then click out of the opacity. And then to show you guys what it does, basically I'm in the middle of the screen talking, doing whatever I do. Then I go up to the Apple menu and then I see the big mouth, mouse pointer is clicking on everything. So then if I want to go ahead and add in another video action and then add in the opacity, I can go ahead and move it over to look like it's clicking on the close out button right there. So then it closes out the, the menu and then I can go ahead and I can just edit in the mouse pointer any way I want to with fading it in, fading it out, or doing some other stuff right here. So see I went up to the screen flow menu so let's just say I go ahead and, uh, wait a minute, just go ahead up there. So I want to go ahead and add a video action to this, go up there, I'll add a video action down to the bottom which scrolls up there and move the mouse pointer over there. And then it goes down to, and then it'll start going down to about screen flow. So I just go over here, pan down, and then finally I pan over using this. I'll add another video action, pan over with that, lower the opacity, and then let's go ahead and show you guys what we did. So let's go ahead and play our screen capture. So it's playing forward. The big mouse pointer goes up there, and clicks on about this map, then it scrolls over to there and it looks like I'm about to go ahead and click on the X. Then I add another video action, then I click on screen flow, about screen flow, and then it's over. And so anyway, that's how I do it. I go ahead and I find a mouse pointer image and I insert it over the tracks on my uh, screen recording. And then I just fade it in and fade it out and move it around using the screen flows add video action tab. And then that's how I go ahead and add in the mouse pointer for my video. So anyway, I hope that answers your question. That is how I add in the mouse pointer for my video. So I know I didn't take the time to show you guys how I edited my mouse pointer to look exactly like that, but uh, you're going to need to go ahead and uh, trim around some, ed some edges. But uh, I will link in the description to this video a link to this uh, mouse pointer image, which you can go ahead and edit any way you want to to insert it into your videos. And so all you're going to need is a mouse pointer image. You're going to need a screen flow, obviously, which isn't free, but uh, if you ask me, it's worth the money. And you're also going to need something to edit your image in. So anyway, that is how you, that is how I insert the uh, big mouse pointer into my videos. So anyway, hope this answers your question. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.